Welcome back to the LNX Files. As always, this is a safe space for all things spooky. And today we're gonna use these tarot cards to do a what the heck check on Rihanna and ASAP Rocky. He referred to her as his wife. So what's going on? We're gonna find out. Okay, so as far as I knew, and yes, like this shirt has like a burn mark on it, like from the dryer. So I guess I'm gonna be retiring it from a work shirt to a workout shirt. Anyway, here we are. Mr. Peach is kind of eating his food. He's being a fussy. So yeah, everything's normal. How's your Monday going? So as we know, like I always thought that like ASAP Rocky and Rihanna were like the cool couple that was like, oh, we're not, we don't need to get married. And it's like, we're in love. We're raising this kid together. He's really cute. We got another one on the way. Like it's whatever, you know, and they had this like very special bond. They're pretty low key. I mean, they did have like several episodes of drama, like in 2022 where like he got arrested then there was the other thing like we did a bunch of videos on them in a row in 2022 so check out their playlist if you're curious about that time but there was definitely a vibe of like we don't need to get married like we cool we don't need the piece of paper so asap rocky referring to her as his wife is a bit like oh did something happen you want to share with us also, you know, when it comes to these relationships where like the woman in the relationship is so famous and so powerful, like I feel like marriage starts to become less important, you know, to the parties because then it's just like, oh, the assets, what will we do? Well, you'll get a bomb proof prenup. That's the first thing. So before we start pulling cards, because hey, we might as well do a wellness check while we ask the cards if they married, let's review their immediate chart. So Rihanna is a Pisces with an Aries rising and an Aries moon. So that's no ordinary Pisces. Like that's a very focused Pisces. So Pisces can be sort of like dreamy and romantic and restless and sort of like in this world and the next world. And that's why so many musicians have Pisces in their immediate chart. Uh, because Pisces is ruled by Neptune, Neptune rules music. Neptune's the modern ruler of Pisces. But a Pisces framed with Aries is like a go-getter Pisces. Like it's a Pisces that's like taking names, that's like checking things off the list, getting things done. And I remember when Rihanna talks about like auditioning or like performing in front of Jay-Z in sort of like an audition like setting earlier in her career. And she was just like, oh, I was so nervous. But then like, she said like this side of her took over, like some side of her, like my go-getter side took over. And I was like, oh, I wonder what's in, in her immediate chart. Well, there we have it. And ASAP Rocky is a Libra with a Cancer moon. So we don't know his rising sign. You guys have put it in the comments before. And you guys, one of you once mentioned that like, it, like a documentary about him says what time he was born. Just send me the links, guys. Just send me the links, okay? Um, so Libra, Pisces, not great, but Libra, Aries is pretty cool because like his Libra sun is meshing very well with all that Aries energy, her Aries rising, her Aries moon, like that's bellissima. And then his Cancer moon is vibing with her P P Pisces sun. So while their sun signs aren't that harmonious, their charts as a bigger picture are looking like really quite simpatico and just like quite like we we're good with this like we got this so and then we've got a nice little baby who's a little Taurus baby adding some nice some stable earth to the mix I'm totally here for it so yeah let's take a look Rihanna ASAP Rihanna ASAP how they are hurting the situation and where's the energy heading and did they go and get married that's what I would like to know okay so Rihanna's external vibe towards ASAP Oh, okay, so Seven of Wands. So there's something about their situation right now where she feels like she has to stand her ground. Either it's like, let's keep having kids or I need to have some rest, but there's some particular issue where she's not only standing her ground, but she's like leading the way or she's making some sort of like, ba ba ba. like, was it about marriage? Was it about like being married or not being married or let's just call each other husband and wife but not get married or let's call each other husband and wife because we are married. There's something that she was like really like planting her flag about. So we got to keep pulling cards. Okay. ASAP's external vibe towards Rihanna. Oh, okay. So this is interesting. So we got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. 
So the Ace of Pentacles, we know, upright is a gift. It's an opportunity in the physical world. Sometimes this does literally mean like an engagement ring. So this could mean like uh, this could be a symbol of an engagement ring, of a wedding ring, of a marriage. The fact that this is in reverse, it could just mean that this happened slowly or quietly in secret. Um, that there were like caveats around it or obstacles around it maybe because of the secrecy or maybe because like they're so young and cool that they didn't want to do things traditionally like the fact that this is in reverse may just mean that like they just didn't do things the normal way you know where like he surprises her and proposes it may have just been like oh yo let's just get married let's go pick out some rings in like morocco or something you know so that's that's interesting this could be so far our biggest sign that they have gotten married okay all right what is Rihanna's internal vibe towards ASAP? Okay, interesting. So we got another ace, but in reverse. Ace of Wands in reverse. So usually this is not a great sign, but we know that they're like happy and in love and he just referred to her as their wife. So I'm thinking Ace of Wands in reverse is that this is the start of something, this is the beginning of something, but it, this may be the secret presentation of the start of something like they may have gotten married secretly is what this card might indicate like that it was happening behind closed doors usually with this card i interpret it more as like non-starter like the match not striking the side of the matchbox no spark usually that's what this means but we know that they're happy connected in love with like a baby and another one on the way right so I'm wondering if that's what these two aces are indicating, the secrecy of the matter. Okay. ASAP's internal vibe towards Rihanna. Oh, oh, this is interesting. This is an interesting way of putting it. So we got the Emperor card upright. So the Emperor card is a very patriarchal card. It's very old fashioned. It's about tradition. And we can also interpret it as men doing what men want. But the reason that this is significant is because it's so connected to Aries, the ram. So we've got the ram symbols on the throne. And I think that this symbolizes that he's like, I'm, I'm the emperor to your empress, Rihanna. I mean, technically, with all the Aries in her immediate chart, she should be symbolized by this. But I think this is like... A way of the guide saying like yeah I'm the king to your queen like I'm the emperor to your empress I think that's what this is indicating and that they may have made it official because this is a very old-fashioned card so I'm wondering that for sure okay mr. peaches is eating his food mr. Papa you so you so juicy mr. Papa oh my god okay now, what is a helping or hurting the situation? Oh, interesting. Okay, so the judgment card in reverse. So it's major arcana. And upright, this is a card of like, God has a plan. Things may be crazy right now, but God has a plan. Like, don't worry, whatever happened, this was part of God's plan, as nutty as it looks. So in reverse, this is like a three, this can often symbolize a free will decision. Whereas like God's plan was them meeting and them crossing paths and them having like har a harmonic personality type that meshes together. That was all part of God's plan, the conception, God's plan. But when this comes up in reverse, it can signal the choices made by humans in the physical world to do things. So I, this all, to me symbolizes a choice that was made. It symbolizes that yes, they may have gotten married. Okay. And what is the bottom line or rather where's the energy heading? No, no. This is so weird. So I got it. I got it. So we got the ace of cups in reverse. So usually this is really not a great card, but here's the thing. So number one, this can mean love dumping out of a situation. Whenever the aces come up in reverse in these relationship spreads, you really want to pay attention to it. So it can symbolize all the love and affection dumping out of a situation, or it can represent love bombing. But here's the thing. All the aces thus far have shown up in reverse. So this is not, 
What we conclude about all these aces, they've gotten three aces in this spread. So aces often symbolize the beginning of something. So we know we got a new baby on the way. I think that a marriage has also taken place. I think that they have been wed. I think this is the upright meaning of the card, but just in secret behind closed doors. I think that, you know, this is the beginning of the journey of love for them, not just as a couple, but for their family. This is happening uh, behind closed doors as a married couple. And that is what I think all this means. And so now we pulled this card here. What is the bottom line? Did they get married? Yes or no? Oh, okay, that's interesting. So here's the thing, here's the thing. This is not a great card for really anything because it's the, it, it, on the one hand, the guides aren't giving us a definitive answer, but on the other hand, I think they are. So here's the card, it's seven of cups. So upright, that's good, cups upright. But this is the card that's like, what's a blessing? What's a curse? What's a dream? What's not? So this is a very wishy-washy sort of uh, message where the guides are like, oh, did they like, did they get married? They're not really answering the questions, but sometimes with these cards, you have to look at the literal imagery. Like sometimes the guides are like this. You have to look at where is the light coming from? Are things falling? Are they dropping? Are they staple? What are they pointing to? And I can't help but notice we do have the veiled figure here. So this could be a sign of like, yes, they did get married just because, you know, this is so symbolic of a wedding veil. The meaning of the card is about like fiction versus reality. So it's interesting the cards that we've gotten like have they or haven't they i think they did i think they did i i i i would the cards can go either way so the spread that we've gotten here certainly suggests things happening of great significance behind closed doors for sure and to me the Emperor card is the most compelling card for marriage, you know? This is not so much, this this one. I, if someone put a gun to my head, I would say that they did. That, that would be my final answer. So that's what I've got for you guys. Comment below, what do you think based on these cards? Because they are a little inscrutable. So put your thoughts in the comments below. Um, we gotta continue to monitor this situation, right? So like and subscribe, and as always, we'll do this again.